Terini, a Greek island with stunning turquoise waters and picturesque villages. An island where you can feel free and relax. And a tourist trap. But is it? In this video, we will tell you everything about this Instagrammable island and everything you need to know. From what to see, do, how expensive it is and if it's even worth a visit. So if you're planning a visit to Santorini, Greece, this is your video. And if you watch the video until the end, we even have a special gift for you. We are at the moment at the airport, trying to find a way into the city. As renting a quad last minute was like a mission impossible, we decided to take the local bus. It's way cheaper than we thought. It's just 1 euro 60 per person. We're going to the center of Fira and now we head over to a hotel. Public buses are an option to get from one city to the other or to the airport. But to really explore the <laughs> island and the beaches, your best option is to rent an ATV, a car or a scooter. We chose an ATV for the feeling of freedom. After we have a quad, we are now able to explore the island freely. For the first trip we decided to go up the northern part of Santorini to check out the beaches, the little cities and to go for the sunset. First stop, Capo Colombo. A beach we didn't hear about anything. We just had to check it out. It's a small beach. It's Which is not a sand beach, it's with stones. Cheers! We found a small beach bar right here on the beach. We need to refresh ourselves because it's very hot outside. We paid 5 euro for a big glass of iced tea. It's not that much, but it's also not that cheap. After a little stop on the way, we're now heading to the iconic city of Bia. The place most people know for the iconic pictures with the blue roofs. Located in the northern part of the island, though still just a 30 minutes drive from Fira. It is also one of the best places to stay in Santorini. Strolling around the little streets and enjoying the atmosphere is just an experience in itself. The city is equally beautiful during the day and night. Even if you have your hotel somewhere else, you have to spend at least one afternoon and one evening here. Being a more upscale destination, eating out is definitely more expensive than in other parts of the island. The most unique gift or souvenir you can bring from Santorini. <laughs> Different, different. <laughs> but, uh... A handmade painting from Santorini from a guy who lives in Australia, has a wife from Santorini, <laughs> whose father is Japanese and whose, whose mother, mother is, is from Galapagos Islands. Yeah. <laughs> he studied in Florence yeah. and lived in the US. Okay. Oh, uh, well, was born in the US. Well, was born in the US. <laughs> Perfect. How multicultural can you get? Yeah. <laughs> We have to say, IA is absolutely worth visiting. It's the Santorini you see on Instagram. It's the Santorini you imagine when coming to Santorini. It's the famous blue roofs with the white houses and the blue pools which get illuminated by night. You have a panorama of the whole bay, the cruise ships passing by, people dressing up, fancy restaurants. It's a little more expensive than Fira. But I think it's absolutely worth the price. For the second day, we decided to explore the capital of Santorini, Fira. Discovered a hidden gem and did a hike no one else does. Fira, where we are right now, is the capital of Santorini. You have amazing restaurants with an amazing view over the sea. Just expect to pay a little bit more. This is the city center of Fira. 
we have an amazing view over the old town, the cable car down to the old port where you can take a ferry, a cruise ship yeah. or a boat tour. Behind us you can see the neighboring island of Thirassia. It's a cute little fishing village uh, with an active volcano. From here you can make a day tour to hike up the volcano, go to the hot springs of Thirassia or just enjoy your time. But one thing you have to get used to in Santorini is steps. There are millions and millions of steps. During the day it's so hot and humid and in the evening there's a really chilly wind coming. So absolutely take a sweater or a light jacket with you. We are now in front of the Catholic Church of St. John the Baptist in an otherwise orthodox country. So it's a beautiful church. If, it's if one you... of the only ones you can enter. I think the other ones were closed yeah, most of times. Yeah, yeah, the smaller ones, but you can find churches here, especially Santorini, around every corner. Okay, now I know where the name Santorini comes from. There's a sign which says Santa Irini, the protector of Santorini. We are gonna buy this to protect us during our travels. Mm. No blueberry for you. <laughs> no blueberry, it's 2.90 for one scoop. So that's too much. That's <laughs> a little bit of a tourist trap. There. <laughs> there is no good day without a good lunch. Uh, today we decided to try something traditional. What do you have? I'm gonna have a pork gyros, pita gyros. <laughs> I do have a chicken gyros pita. It's not the main traditional meal. Uh, the traditional would be a normal gyros, plate. a yeah. plate. Yeah. But this is a smaller one, uh, especially on hot days. I prefer smaller portions so we can eat in the evening yeah. when and it's chill. It's also very cheap. And I don't think you can find any cheaper and cuter restaurants here in Fira. <laughs> We are now at the heart of Santorini. We decided to come here because you have a spectacular view over the whole island. Over the water, the neighboring island, Ia and the southern part. Oh my gosh! It's really amazing. Apparently it's quite easy to get here. You just have to drive with your ATV or your car to the parking slot out of Santorini and then just walk down five minutes. We have found a new apartment. Let me show you. There is space for more than 20 people. It's not the cleanest one, but it's very cheap. Actually, I'm gonna stay over there. Pilgos itself is a little small town in Santorini. Uh, a little bit on the hill, so we expect amazing views. It's not as touristy as the other cities, according to our receptionist. So let's check it out. Thurigos is around 20 minutes from Fira with your ATV or your car. So now we are headed to the highest point of Thurigos. It's one of the best views you can get over the whole island. The streets here in Santorini, especially here in Burgos, remind me a lot of Morocco. The streets are so narrow that not even Google Maps knows them all. This way? This way? Oh, okay, thank you! <laughs> People are so friendly here. It just gave us direction because we are going in the wrong way. Wanna go through? It's like, come on, what could happen? <laughs> I'm not sure where we're going to. Actually, I want to go home. <laughs> so, outside of the cave, we go outside again. Oh, wow. First step here, <laughs> oh. and then just up there. That's it. Easy. You go first, yeah. ladies first. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, but. The camera, of course. <laughs> Doesn't look that hard, but I'm just wearing flip-flops because I didn't realize we are conquering an old castle today. 
Pet. Oh, it's a You've seen where we walked? There is. Just a little more halfway. Just one minute away. The church. And a very normal pathway up. Because of our navigational error, we are running out of time a little bit. So now we're heading to Kamari Beach. So we are now here at Kamari Beach. It's an actual tourist beach yeah. where you can have sunbeds, umbrellas, you can have it it's all. The, it's a beautiful beach, it's not sand, it's more yeah. rubble kind of. Yeah, it's black sand, cobblestone, yeah, mixed beach. It's yeah. a mixed, it looks beautiful and... You have the luxury of seeing airplanes land every five minutes. The town itself is a typical tourist town with restaurants, shops, bars, but there's one good thing, they're not angry at you if you don't eat in every restaurant there is. <laughs> for the last day, we decided to explore the southern parts of Santorini. We were searching for the best beach and we found it. But first we wanted to check out the Akutiri archaeological site and learn a little bit about the history of Santorini. And last but not least, we found the best spot for sunset on the island. Good morning in Santorini again, day three. Today we decided to start off today with a little bit of culture and history. So we are here at... Akrotiri Archaeological Site. We are parked at ATV. At the parking lot it's 3 euro for an ATV, uh, 5 euro for a car. It's very easy to get here, just follow the street to Red Beach. And there you are. Hi, can we have two tickets please? Thank you, thank, thank you. you. The admission fee is quite a hefty. It's 12 euro per person. Apparently the first settlements are in Santorini with 5000 BC. 7,000 years ago. This village seemed to have a lot of bad luck. It was hit by an earthquake yes. like three times just before the volcanic eruption on the 17th century before Christ. Now it's a museum, it's more like an uh, indoor area. It's very interesting, you see the colors, you see how the, the building was structured, you see where the people lived and it's amazing how uh, light flooded the buildings were constructed. built a sewage system for the city. These rocks are a little bit separated of course and below there are pipes which transport your sewage to the system. It's very advanced. We're now entering, uh, I think, which was one of the main squares or a building complex. You can go down and walk through the old houses. after checking out the whole area. We have to say it's very interesting. I think if you come to Santorini and are interested in his history and archaeology, you should absolutely come here. After this little history lesson, it was time for some beaches. Red Beach was just a five minute walk away from the archaeological site. Or so we thought. I never do hiking again. <laughs> The thing about red beach is, it's not the beach that's actually red, yes. it's the rocks that are red. It's a traffic jam <laughs> to the beach. Did you ever hike up to a beach? <laughs> Finally made it back to the ATV. 
we are hot, we need some water and make our way to Eros Beach. So arriving at Eros Beach, I already see it's the most beautiful one so far. You don't have to hike, and there is an amazingly beautiful black sand beach. I was so looking forward to that. Sandorini has most cobblestone beaches, and this is the first sandy beach. So Eros Beach is the first beach. You can enter the water without shoes. There are some people, but not a lot. And it's actually a sandy beach. Uh, so if you would ask me to recommend a beach in Santorini, it's absolutely Eros Beach. Uh, so I am so happy! <laughs> so there are... Yeah, you have a very nice beach club over there. It's a little higher price, absolutely. You can rent some beds for 25 euro per person. Beach is our favorite beach so far. It's not crowded, it's very beautiful, it's the only sand beach we have been so far, been so far in Santorini. Um, you can also enter the water with our diving shoes, so if you need a day for yourself, check out Eros Beach, it's the best one so far. And the landscape is absolutely amazing. So for the end of the day, let's hop on the ATV again and see you at Akrotiri Lighthouse. We arrived at the lighthouse and I can already see it's the perfect spot for the sunset. It's going down exactly in front of us. So after exploring most of the island, the question remains, is Santorini just a tourist trap or is it worth visiting? I would say it depends. It's definitely higher priced than the destinations we normally travel to, but you cannot say it's a tourist trap at all. Prices vary heavily from part to part of the island, even from restaurant to restaurant, so you definitely have to look up where you want to eat, where you want to drink, where you want to spend your time. But if you're on a budget, Santorini is probably not the place for you. It's quite expensive even for European standards but if you're not on a budget you absolutely have to come to Santorini. The Hello. island itself is so beautiful you absolutely should not miss this destination. It has very nice sunsets, a beautiful landscape, amazing views and good restaurants. It has also very nice beaches. So you might wonder what the special gift was we had prepared for you. Just check the link in the description and you find a completely free cheat sheet for your trip to Santorini. It's an interactive PDF with clickable links to all the information you'll need to visit the island. And it's just our gift for you for watching until the end. So see you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.